How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're sending Dafkuf Yud Aleph, Daf 111 of Masechet Above Messiah, friends, your friends. Yo, listen up, friends. Here's the deal. Um, <laughs> ah, I'm a mess. Uh, the deal is, the deal is that. So you know, I went to Chasana the other day. So the way the Chasanas work is that after you go to the Chasana, then you have to go to Shevet Brachas. So the Shevet Brachas started an hour ago. And this is probably going to be a long dop, so it's probably going to take another hour plus. But I'm probably going to miss the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. You think they need me for a minion? Well, let me tell you, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to squeeze it all in, you know. All right. Anyways. Um... So it's gonna be a long. I think it's gonna be a long daf. It's a very good daf. A gavaldig daf. What do you mean a very good daf? A gavaldig daf. I just feel a little bad because I'm totally gonna miss this thing. But what do you want me to tell you? I mean, I went already. Went to the wedding. All right, let's go fight. Let's go fight. All right. Mm, okay. So um, oh, this is so good because it's like we're moving in now to like um to to um um. Like stuff about uh, 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 poalim, hired workers, and like paying workers and stuff. Like, I don't know, I feel like this is such a bub mitzia thing, and it comes up all, it's, it's all, we're only getting to it, like all the way at the end. So I think it's super cool. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a long one. I, I just think it's, it's gonna be a long one. In my experience, the longer I um, delay and talk about how long it's gonna be, the longer it gets delayed and the longer it becomes. Um, but aside from that, um, the longer it takes to prepare and to review, it's usually an indication that it's like going to be a long one. And it took a long time to prepare and a long time to review. Even though it doesn't feel like it's that hard, let's go weiter. Um, Kuf Yud Amud Beis, uh, at the Mishnah. Here we go. Makabal Sodomi Chaveru L'Shavua Echod. So if somebody, if uh, Ruvain uh, leases a field from Shimon for um, a Shavua, Shavua is seven years. So, Bishva Meozuz, for se- for, but, but not for seven years, but for a Shavua, as, as we're gonna, we'll go weiter in a second, but, okay, so he, he, so the, the lease was for a Shavua, for 700 Zuz, Hashvi is Mina Minyan. So then Shmita is included, even though he can't work the field that year, but it's still included in, in, in the, in the agreement. Kibla Emenu Sheva Shonim, and that's why I made a distinction, but if, however, the, the sort of, the the technic the you know technical wording of the deal was for seven years bishva zuz for seven hundred zuz ein ashvius min aminin so then uh, shmita is not included so if it's for a shavua a shavua is like this like meaning shavua is like I don't know six years followed by shmita the next shavua would be the next six years followed by shmita so if you're talking about one shavua that's that right, that's the whole package including shmita so if you say for a shavua for seven hundred zuz so that includes Shemitah. But if you say for seven years for 700 Zuz, well then seven workable years. Um, so then it would exclude Shemitah. Okay. Schir Yom Gove Kolalada. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Schir Yom Gove Kolalada. A day worker, a day worker can collect all night. So meaning he's working all day. Right, he works all day until the night time, and then the employer has all night to pay him. And somebody who's working all night until the morning, the employer has the entire day to get him his payment. Now, if somebody is working for a few hours, right? Let's say he works from nine in the morning until noon. Kol halayla v'chol ayom, all night and all day. The Gemara is gonna gonna get into exactly what this means. Wait, where am I? Wait, did I uh, did I read that right? Schir uh, shows gove kol halayla. No, I, I read that right. Okay, the, the Gemara is gonna kind of get into how we deal with schir shows. Okay, schir Shabbos. If you are hired for a week, schir chodesh hired for a month, schir shana hired for a year, schir shavua hired for seven years. Yotzo bayom. If the employment ends during the day, he, he collects all day. If it ends 
during the night. He collects all night as well as the following day. We're, we're going to explain, we're going to get to that to understand exactly what this means soon. Okay. In the Gemara, says the Gemara, Tanu Rabbanu, the Rabbi Sot, Minayin the Skir Yom Shegove Kol Alayla. How do I know that somebody works all day, so then the employer has all night to pay him? Tamud Lomar, Lo Solin Pula Sochir Itcha Ad Boker, do not uh, uh, rest, I don't know, the, 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 the wages of your worker until the morning, right? Meaning, comes the morning, you're in violation of low solemn pula sochir, meaning you have all night to pay until the morning. So that is for a day worker. Somebody worked all day. So now you have all night to pay him for his work. And how do I know that somebody works all night? The employer has all day to pay him. Shinem is the puzzle says, that on that that during the day, on that day, you you gotta pay. I'll say fakirat. I'll say that a night worker needs to be paid that night. A day worker needs to be paid that day. Schirus eino mishtalemis el basof. But as we learned in, I think, Ezu Neshech, and I think in other places as well, that schirus is paid at the end. If you look at Rashi, it says schirus eino mishtalemis el basof. Kedoma beezu Neshech. Kishir shana bishana. Schirus shana zom mishtalemis b'tchilas shana cheres. That the that the that the payment for this year is only paid. During the next year, right? So therefore, so so meaning, so a, a day worker he finishes his work at the end of the day, and then he gets paid at night. A night worker finishes his work at the end of the night. He gets paid during the day. Okay. So so the so so the payment is due only at the completion of the work. Um, so you complete it at the end of the day. So then you know during the night is when you receive your payment. Tanu rabbonon, the rabbi said, is it okay if I like? I'm not going to like gun it. I'm not going to try to go as fast as I can, but maybe I'll try to keep things moving as much as I can. Maybe I'll surprise myself. Maybe it isn't actually that long. I don't know. We'll see. Tanur Abana, like maybe it moves. I don't know. But it did take a really long time to learn and a really long time to review, which is usually an indication that it's going to take a really long time to record. Tanur Abana, the rabbi's taught. Mimaj Moshene Amar. Lo solin pula sochir itcho. Eni odea she'ad boker. From the fact that the Pasuk already says, Lo salim pula sochir itcha, don't have the wages of your worker rest with you. And Rashi says, uh, two lines to the bottom of Rashi, Mashmash Mash, never bechuli, she'ain lina kruya ela ara boker, dixiv velo yolin la boker. So we already know that lina mimele means until the morning. So again, so Tanur Abanan, mimash mashinem, lo salim pula sochir itcha, once already it says, Lo salim pula sochir, that the, that the, that the wage should not, should not, should not, Talin, and you dare shad boker memele. I know it's ad boker. So matam lo me ad boker. So why does it say ad boker? I know the memele. Milamid she eno over elo ad boker rishon bil vad. Mikan okay, that you are only over on on bal on bal tolin on lo solim pula socher itcha ad boker for one day only for that following morning alone. Uh, okay, okay. Hold that thought. So, what do you what What do you mean that day alone, as opposed to what? Chaver, wait five minutes, and we'll have enough kamina. All right? Can you do that for me? Mikan ve'elach. Now, after that point, if you are hold, withholding wages, ma mai. Then what happens? Amarav over mishum baltashe. So that's that's an under a different thing. The the issue at that point would then be don't withhold. Payment. Um, Rav Yosef, my crow, where do we have a pasuk for Baltasha? Al yomer lereacha lech v'shuv umachur etein v'yesh itoch. Don't tell your friend, go and come back tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll pay you, when really you have it right now. That would be Baltasha. Okay, remember, hold that thought. Hold, hold that thought about Ad Boker. Hold that thought, all right? All right. Tony Rabbonin, the rabbi's thought. Haomer lachavero, somebody says to his friend, Schor li it says, Chorli, Alim, go and hire for me workers, Shneen, Ein Ovrin, Mishum, Baltolin, neither one of them will be in violation of Losolim Pula Sochir Tchad Boker if they, if they don't pay, if they don't pay on time. Zelefishel Oscharon, right? So for example, if Ruven says to Shimon, 
Hey, Shimon, can you hire me workers? Shimon says, fine. Shimon goes and hires the workers for Reuven. They're going to be working for Reuven, but Shimon hired them. So neither one of them is going to be in violation of Losolin, potentially in violation of Losolin Pulas Sochi Itchad Boker. So Zelefisha at Losachron. Reuven is not high because he didn't do the hiring. Shimon did the hiring. Right? So, right? So Losolin Pulas Sochi, you, he's not your Sochi, you didn't hire. And at the same time, Shimon's not chayv because he wasn't working for Shimon. He was working for Reuven. So they didn't work, do work for him. So therefore, neither one right, would fall through the cracks. Neither one would be chayv. Hey, Chidami. Now, one second. What's this scenario? What, now, Chavah, this is going to be reminiscent of Asar Ches I think it was the first half of Asar Ches Hey, Chidami, what's the scenario? If Shimon... When he went to hire these workers for Ruven, he tells them, look, I'm going to be paying you. You're working for me. Okay? So Shimon hires them. He says, you're working for me. So, where am I? See, the Amar Luz Charchem Olay, Scharo, all of who? Well, then, he, Shimon would be responsible to pay, and there would be a potential violation of Lo Solom Pula Sochi Yitchad Boker. Titan is, Lunar Bais, Asoycha Sapoyol, Chavit, this is from, this is from Asoycha Sumon. If Shimon hires a poil, Shimon hires a worker to work for him, but then takes him, right? So Shimon hires the worker, but then he takes him to Reuven's house to do the work. So Shimon is the employer, right? He's the contractor. Shimon's going to pay them. And then he goes back to Reuven and says, okay, Reuven, by Mashehe no also he says to Reuven, look, this is the value that we provided you, you know, pay pay me back. Um so in that case, Shimon would be liable to Losalin Pulasitra Itra uh Lo Salin Pulasok Itra at Boker. Lo Tsuicha the Omelu Scharchem Al Balabois. Well, if Shimon hired the workers and said that that you're working for Ruven, that Ruven's gonna pay you. So then it kind of falls through the cracks. Shimon did the hiring, but they're working for Reuven, so neither one would be in violation potentially of, if they don't pay, of the Solomon Pulas Sochir Yitchad Boker. Where am I? Okay. Yehuda by Meremar, Omer Leil Shamoy. Yehuda by Meremar said to his attendant, Zil Ogerli Payalim, go and hire for me, rent for me, uh, hire for me uh, workers, Vemelu, and say to them, Scharchem Abalabayas, that, uh, that the Balabayas is going to pay you, and that way nobody would be hired for. Loisalin would, would, would have to worry about Loisalin Pulasochi Yitchad Boker. Meremer Marzutra, Agwil Adodi. Meremer Marzutra, they would hire for each other. If Meremer needed a, a, a poil, Marzutra would hire the poil. If Marzutra needed a poil, Meremer would hire the poil. Okay. Now, Cheve, 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 it's Givaldic. Remember I told you before, hold on, hold that thought? So you're holding it, right? Cheve, our brains are so big right now after learning. But Vakama, but Mesia, let alone the rest of Shas. Our brains are so big is that we could find a little nook in our big brains to stash away. Well, what was it that we were stashing away again? Ah, at Boker. That, uh, that, uh, it's Dafka one morning. Right, right, that Lusalim Pula Sochir Itcho. At Boker is only the first morning. So let's go weiter. So I'm a rabbi. Says Rabbi Barifuno, Hani Shaykoi de Sura, the people that worked in the Shuk. Shuk, Shuk de Sura. What do you think the Shuk de Sura was like? You think it was like Shuk Machni Yehuda? You think they, 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 they probably sold dried dates there? Did they have brekkas? Did they have brekkas in Bavu? Did they have brekkas in Bavu? Hummus? Did they have hummus in Bavu? They're probably fruits and vegetables, right? Um, Rabbi Rapuna and Shokoi the Surah, the people. Ooh, what just happened there? What did I do? All right, there's gonna be a little noise for a second. Very nice. A little more noise. Very nice. Okay. Vivaldic. All right, uh, so the people who work in the market in Surah, Lo Avi Mishum Baltolin. I feel like I actually didn't. That's funny. I don't know. I feel like I actually skipped this maybe when I was like uh, reviewing earlier, but whatever. I, don't, I, I think I know it, so it's not a big deal. So let's say you have, let's say the Shuk day was Thursday, okay? So they would go to the market on, on, on Thursday and, and sell stuff. So on Tuesday, 
they, you know, the, the merchants wouldn't necessarily have money, right? After, after the market on Thursday, when they sell, they make money and, and they have money to pay the workers. So if you have a worker who's working uh, for the uh, uh, um, seller, whatever, the merchant on Tuesday, so mainly he knows that he's not going to get paid until Thursday, till after the market. So, so therefore, on, on Wednesday morning, he did the work on Tuesday. So technically, Tuesday night would be when he needs to get paid. By, the, by, by Wednesday morning, he needs to get paid. But the melee is not getting paid Wednesday because they know that there's no money until Thursday. So there's no, there's no issue of those southern pula sachi itcha ad boker because it's understood that, right, that, right, that he's not getting paid on, on, Wednesday, on Wednesday morning. He's going to get paid hopefully Thursday night or whatever. And therefore, once already there's no issue of, of baltolin, on Wednesday morning, there will never again be an issue of Baal Talin. There could, however, potentially be an issue of Baal Tasha if he doesn't pay after the market day. So I'm Rabbi Barafuna, says Rabbi Barafuna, I'm reading that again. I shall call you the surah. These people work in the market in surah. Lo avri mishum Baal Talin. They are not in violation of Baal Talin. Made the yade because the workers on Tuesday know that al yom the shuka smiche. That, uh, right, that, right, that, that, right, that payday comes after the market day. Ava mishum baltashe vade over. But baltashe is still an issue, right? Meaning, you have to, you have to, uh, once you have the money, you have to pay it. You can't, you can't just let it linger. Yeah, I don't think that I reviewed that earlier, but I think I understood it. I think I got it. Schir shows gove kola laila vichola yom. This is gishmak. Um, Okay, so we had this gishmak. So what happens in the case where somebody works for part of the day or part of the night? He works from 9 a.m. to noon or from 9 p.m. till midnight. So when does he need to get paid? Is gishmak, Rav, is gishmak. Um, Rav says, Rav, schir shows the yom gove kola yom, schir shows the lala gove kola lala. Ho, ho, says Rav. Okay, well, if you work from 9 a.m. to noon, so the employer needs to pay you by the end of the day by shki or whatever by the end of the day if you work from 9 p.m to midnight he has to pay you by the end of the night there's still time right and he, uh, before we were talking about he's working all day okay so then you so then you get paid at night if you're working all night so then you get paid during the day but if you're only working part of the day so you, so get paid by the end of the day if you're working part of the night get paid by the end of the night that's that's right ushmul amasishmul schir shaoz the yom go vekolayom this is gishmak so it says Shmuel that if you work from nine in the morning till noon, so you got to get paid by the end of the day. But Uschir shows the laila gove kol laila b'chol ayom. Says Shmuel that if you work a few hours at night from nine p.m. till midnight, so yes, of course you can get paid the rest of the night. But the employer also has the entire next day to pay as well. His gishmak is stuck. Because, of course, the night, the first daf and shas, right? That the day goes after the night. That the, right, that, right, that, right, that in, that in Yiddishkeit, the day starts the night before, of course. So, 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 um, so therefore, therefore, so if he worked from nine in the morning until noon, so he has to get paid by the end of the day, by the, by the, by the next, by, by the night time, it's already the next day. So that's too late. He's got to get paid that day. But if he works a few hours at night, so he can get paid the rest of the night. And, but also the day follows the night. So he can also pay the night. He also has the night, the employer can, you know, has the next day to be able to pay him as well. Right. Now this is different to, um, to somebody who works all day, right? We said somebody who works all day. So then, so if somebody works all day, so then he has all night to get paid, but not also the following day, because then you're, because you, there you're, the work was done on a previous day, so you only have the following night. But here, the work was being done at night, so then it's being done, on, you know, so even if he gets paid the next day, it's still the same day, technically. Geschmack. So Shmuel says, okay, so again, according to, Sh- okay, so according to Rob, it's simple. If you work, Part of the night, you have to get paid by the end of the night. If you work part of the day, you got to get paid by the end of the day. According to Shmuel, if you work part of the day, you got to get paid by the end of the day. If you work part of the night, you got to get paid by the end of the next day. Right? You can get paid that that night or the following day. Tanan. 
We learn in our Mishnah Skir shows, Go Ho ho. Our Mishnah had said, and that's why I said the Gemara is going to explain this. So our Mishnah, I mean, it's, you know, it's Machleg is Rav and Shmuel. They each explain it their own way. So we learned in our Mishnah Skir shows that a, uh, a a a a worker for a few hours, Go can be paid that night and the following day. So if, according to Shmuel. Oh, Givaldi, that's talking about somebody who worked part of the night. He can get paid by the end of the night or even the next day. To you to the Rab, but it's a kasha on Rab, because according to Rab, he says, if you work part of the day, you got to get paid by the end of the day. If you work part of the night, you got to get paid by the end of the night. There's no such concept as the end of the night and the next day, according to Rab. So, Omer Lach Rab, Rab will say to you, Litzdodin, Katoni, no, it's no problem. Rab says, the Mishnah isn't saying that you can get paid that night and the next day. It's saying, there's two scenarios. Either you can get paid that night or you can get paid that day, depending on when you're working. Right? When it says, right, schir shows, go ve kola laila ve kola yom. So, meaning, schir shows, when you have somebody who's working for, you know, part of the day or part of the night, well, then the outcomes are either go ve kola laila, either uh, if you work part of the night, so you can get paid by the end of the night, or the other option would be ve kola yom. Another option is also, if you work part of the day, you can get paid by the end of the day. So it's an either or. It's not saying, you know, it's not an and, right? If you think about like querying a database, it's not an and, it's an or. <coughs> Fine. So, um to the Rav, Amalek Rav, Rav said it's taught in Katani. That when it says, it means, <coughs> it can be taught both ways, meaning, Sechir Shav is the Yom, Go Vekol Yom. So if you work part of the day, so he's got to get paid by the end of the day. So it shows the light. If you work part of the night, go call the light. He's got to get paid by the end of the night. It's not. We learned in our mission. Are you here? Shabbos. If he was hired for a week, Sechir Chodesh, for a month, Sechir Shana, for a year, Sechir Shavua, for a for seven years. Yotze biyom. Okay. So if his employment ends in the middle of the day, go ve call yom. So he has to be paid by the end of the day. Yotze Balayla, if his employment ends in the middle of the night, go ve kola layla ve cholayom. He can collect his, his payment by the end of the night or even the following day. Ooh, so that's going to be tough for Rob. Because there was pretty clear. If the employment ends in the middle of the day, he's got to get paid by the end of the day. If it, if it ends in the middle of the night, then it's the rest of the night or the next day. What's Rob going to do about that? That's pretty clear. You know what Rob will say? Machloik is tanoi. It's poshit and machlok is tanoim. The machlok is between Rav and Shmuel. The machlok is between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon, as we're about to see. The Tan is learned by says, "Skir shows the yom, go ve kol ayom. Skir shows the laila, go ve kol laila." Dever Rabbi Yehuda, and that according to Rabbi Yehuda, if you work part of the day, you got to get paid by the end of the day. If you work part of the night, you got to get paid by the part by the end of the night. That right? That's exactly what Rav says. Rabbi Shimon Omer says, "Rabbi Shimon, Skir shows the yom." Go over kol ayom. Skir shows the laila. Go over kol alayla. Go kol ayom. Ho ho. Exactly what Shmuel says. Rabbi Shimon says that um, somebody who works uh, part of the day has got to get paid by the end of the day. Somebody who works part of the night needs to get paid by the end of the night or the next day. Punct. Like Shmuel. Rabbi Shimon and Shmuel are saying the same thing. Um, where am I? Mikanamu. Okay. Givaldik. Okay. So Rav says taka machlekes. About, um, yeah, with regard to if you work part of the night, can you also get paid the next day? Mikan Omer from here, they said, right, from the fact that, um, that we're saying that, um, you know, even with, uh, uh, you know, discussing the halachos of even partial work employments, okay, call Akovish Shachar Sochir, that anybody who withholds payment to a worker over Behei Shemis Halalu Ve'ese, he is in violation of five mitzvahs loisase and one mitzvahs essay. Mitzvahs loisase number one. Mishum bal tashok is reecho. Don't, uh, I think withhold from your friend. Mishum bal tigzol and don't steal. Mishum bal tashok sochir. Don't withhold a employee. Oni, who's poor. Mishum bal tolin. And from, losolin pula sochir tchad boker. And now here comes the essay. And because of, um, you gotta pay him during that day. And the final love, 
that it shouldn't, uh, you should, you know, there shouldn't be sunset and you haven't paid him. Hanidika be mama. One second. So then the ka. Okay, fine. So we saw that there's like five lives and one ase. Now, how could it be that you're over on all of them? Hanidika be mama. Leka beleli. Hanidika beleli. Leka be mama. I mean, clearly, right? For example, Osalim pula sachir itchad boker is talking about paying at night. Beyomo titen scharo. Velosava olav shemesh is talking about. Paying during the day. So, I mean, clearly you can't be in violation of all five of them. Some of them apply at night, some apply during the day. It can only be a violation of, of a subset. So, Amrav Chizda Shem Schiruz Bama. What it's saying is that within uh, uh, the concept of paying employees, so there are five potential lavin and one potential assay. And yes, in some cases, you know, certain ones will be relevant. In other cases, other ones will be relevant. Okie dokie. So, the pasuk of Lo Yisalim Pula Sochir Itchad Boker. So the whole pasuk reads Lo Sashrik Ezreacha Velo Sigzol Velo Yisalim Pula Sochir Itchad Boker. So what's Oshek and what's Gezel? Right? It says Lo Sashrik Ezreacha Velo Sigzol. What's Oshek? What's Gezel? Ezu Oshek Veezu Gezel. What is Oshek and what is Gezel? Am Rav Chizda says Rav Chizda Leich Vashov Leich Vashov Zeu Oshek. If he just keeps on saying, you know, hey, uh, come back another time. Come back another time. So that's Oshek. If he says, yeah, I owe you, but I ain't giving it to you. That is theft. However, if Sheshes asks Akasha, Ezu Oshek, Shechiva Olav Torah. So when it comes to um, Asham. Uh, 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 um, Asham, what do we call it? Uh, 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 Asham, is that what's called Asham Elos? No, Asham, uh, 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 Asham Pikal? I don't know, what's it called? Uh, Asham Gazel? I think it's Asham Gazelos. 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 I think so. Is, 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 I think it's Ashim Gazelos. That, like, for example, if, if a Shomer denies that he has a, uh, that, that he has an object and he really took it for himself. So then he, he denies and he swears. So, so he has to bring an Ashim. So it says over there, what does the Pasuk say? Do we have the Pasuk over there? Mm, yeah. Nefesh kisechato amal amal ba'ashem vekichesh ba'amito bepikaren o betsumes yad o vegazel o asha kesamito. So over there, by Ashim Gazelos, it says gazel and it says Ashak. So Ezu Oshek Shechiva Olav Torah Korban. So when we have this Oshem Gzelos, what is the Oshek? What what is Oshek? Dumya de Pikarin. Well, that's be similar to like when he denies having a a a a a, a, a deposit. The Kafir Le Mamona that he that he's that he's de, that he's denying at this. So 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 meaning Rav Chizda had said what's what's Oshek. Yeah, come back another time. Come back another time. Says of Sheshes, no, there has to be a denial. Elam Rav Sheshes, no sativ l'cho. Zeh Oshek. Rather, says Rav Sheshes, no, what's Oshek? I gave it to you already. He denies it. He says, I gave it to you already. Yesh chab yod v'eini no sin l'cho zeh gezel. And if he says that, yeah, I have your money, but I ain't paying you, that's theft. Maskev l'abaya abaya sakash. Ezu gezel shechiva olav teire korban. Abai asked the kasha from Abraisa, from the, from also from Oshim Gzelos. It says, what is the gezel that you have a korban Oshim Gzelos? Dumya de pikodin, but you know, we need it to be similar to a pikodin, to a, um, deposit. Dikakafrele, mamona, that he is denying money. Whereas over here, he's admitting, right? He's saying, I, I, uh, I, 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 I have it, but I'm not paying you. Hello, my boy. Rather says a boy. Lo sechar ticho me olam zeu oshek. Rather says a boy. Oshek is when he says, "I never ever hired you. I don't know who you are." No sativ l'cha zeu gezel. And theft is when he says, "I already gave it to you." Ulev sheshes mashna oshek de kashle mashna gezel de lo kashle. This gets a little bit technical. Hopefully, I'll get it right. Now, according to Rav Sheshes. 
How come he only asked a kasha about Oshek? He didn't have an, even didn't have an issue, right? Okay. Rav Chizdad initially said Oshek because when he says, come back another time, come back another time. Gezos when he says, I have, you know, I have your money, but I'm not giving it to you. Um, Rav Shesh has had an issue with Rav Chizdad's definition of Oshek. Uh, Rav Shesh has had an issue with Rav Chizdad's definition of Oshek, but he was okay with his definition of Gezel. Abai comes and says that, there, that there's an issue with Gezel. How come Rav Sheshis only had an issue with Rav Chizda's definition of Oshek, but he was totally cool with Gezel. How come? Umashna Gezel, the Lokashele. Where am I? So Rav Sheshis, I backed up a line potentially. Umashna Oshek, the Kashele. Umashna Gezel, the Lokashele. How come he, he, he had a Kash on Rav Chizda's presentation of Oshek, but not Gezel? Omar Lach, Rav Sheshis would say to you, Gezel, the Gazle, the Hodor, Kafre. Well, Gizela, you need to first steal and only later deny it. So, for example, if he says, so Rav Sheshis' definition, he agreed with Rav Chizda for Gezel, that he says, I, yeah, I have your money, but, uh, but I'm not paying you. And then he goes to Beze, he denies it. Because he denies that, right, that he owes the money. So that would be, so that, so that, so that, so that would be the case for Rav Shesha. See, oh, if that's the case, I feel Oshek Nami, the other Kafri. So why don't we then say the same thing with Oshek? If, if that's how Rav, Rav Shesha treats Gezel, why doesn't he treat Oshek the same way and say, let him agree with Rav Chizda, that it's talking about where he says, come back again, come back again, and then they go to Bezin and he denies it. So, oh, well, in the Pasuk by Shvua by 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 Oshem Gizelos, it says, O be Gazel O Oshak Esamito. So Gazel is he's, he's stealing from him. So he has to first steal it. He has to say initially, I have it, but I'm not giving it to you. And only then does he deny it after having said that I have it, but I'm not giving it to you. Right? Michlal de Odile Meikara that he had initially admitted to him. He had initially stolen it from him. He had initially said, I have it, but I'm not giving it to you, which is theft. And only later he denied it. Avagabi Oshek, Miksiv O Be Oshek? Does it say O Be Oshek? No. O Oshak Ksiv. Past tense. Meaning that it's not, uh, that, right, 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 that at, at the time of, of their conversation already, he was denying it. It's not that he denied it later. It's not that he first did an act and then later denied it. He's in, the, in his Dialogue with uh, with 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 this guy is already saying he's already denying it there. Ksev Shoshko Kvar that is already now denying it and saying that um, that that I already paid you. Rav Amos says, Rav, Zehu Oshek, Zehu Gezel, Oshek and Gezel, or the Zel Bazach, it's the same thing. Vila Mechil Kanakosov, so why to say Oshek and Gezel if it's the same thing? Lavar Olav Bishnei Laivin said, if you are in violation, you are in violation of two mitzvahs lo saisei. Okay, I feel like we're we're moving somewhat. I got to keep it moving. Um, but yeah, this is a Gishma Kedav. Okay, so now... So now, as we mentioned earlier, so we're getting, okay, give all the, so we're up to a new mission. Okay. So now, as we mentioned earlier, um, there are, there's lo solem pula sachir itchad bochir, which is paying at night. And then there's, uh, biyomo titen scharo, paying during the day. So it's paying at night and during the day. The posuk of uh, lo solem pula sachir itchad bochir is in sefer vayikro. The pasuk of Biyomotitin Tzcharo is in Sefer Devarim. So we be'etzim have this pasuk of paying at night, this pasuk about paying the day. One is in Vayikro, one is in Devarim. And we go, okay, so what apply? what's the deal? What, what, what's the deal? That, that's the question. What's the deal? Here we go. Here we go. Have you ready? Says the mission. Echod schar odom, ve'echod schar be'emo, ve'echod schar kelim. Yeish ba mishum biyomo titen tzcharu v'yeish ba mishum lo solim pula sochir itchad boker. So whether you need to pay a person for his work, whether you need to pay a person for his animals' work, whether you need to pay a person for his vessels' work. Well, what's an example of a vessel? You can give me an example of a, of a vessel that does work. 
a power washing machine, right? Right. Somebody owns a Suzuki a, 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 a portable a power washing machine, and he rents it out. Um, 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 you know, to, to 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 power wash. That's an example of, of a kli. So whether you're paying a person for his work, whether you're paying an animal, a person for his animal's work, whether you're paying a person for his uh, Suzuki power washer's work, um, um, so two things are both psukim are relevant. Biyomo titen scharo is relevant. If he needs to be paid during the day, and also would also be relevant to all three scenarios. Adam Behema Kalim. A Mosai, when are these relevant? Uh, when the person who needs to get paid makes a claim to the employer to get paid. Lo Tvao, if he doesn't make such a claim. A no over all of well, then the employer is not in violation. If the employer worked it out with a shop owner, you know, meaning if he knows that the employee needs to buy groceries, so he says, "Look, it's time for you to get paid. Thanks for your work. Go to the go go to the grocery shop and buy what you want." I worked it out with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, shop owner, um, or go to the money changer and say, "Look, you're here to collect your payment." I worked it out with him. And over all of, okay, so he's Yotzikilu. He did, you know, he worked it out with the shopkeeper, with the uh, 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 money changer. He did his part. He won't be in violation of either Losalin, uh, Baltalin, or Biomutitin Tzcharu. Sacher Bizmano Nishba Venota. We learned this the other day that a an employee on the time when it's time for him to get paid. If he claims that he didn't receive his payment from the Balabai, so he, the employee, can swear that he has not yet received that he has not received his payment, and he can then collect it from the employer. This is one. This is an example of a nishboyin v'notlin of of swearing and then chapanaran and then taking. Normally, of course, you swear to avoid paying. You don't swear and then collect. But this is an example where you do. Um, we, we learned about it the other day. We'll learn it about it again. I think tomorrow. Um, is mano, but if the time passed, right? So let's say uh, he worked all night and he had to get paid all day, and he didn't, he didn't, you know, make a claim all day. he cannot swear and take. But if he could provide witnesses that he did uh, at the time uh, request payment, well, then he can swear that even after the time he can swear and um, get paid. Gertosha, this is important, Chava, this is important, because this is going to be really important for, for the rest of the daf, all right? Gertosha. Gertosha is a, uh, a person who is not a Yid, but he follows the Shev Mitzvah's B'nai Noyach. So Gertosha, a resident alien, Yezbo Mishum Biyomo Titein Scharo, so he shaykh to Biyomo Titein Scharo, the Pasuk from Sefer Devarim, the Einbo Mishum Losalim Pulasachir Yitchad Boker, but he's not shaykh, to the pasuk in Vayikra of Lo Salin Pula Sachi Itcha Ad Boker. Okay, so now Frek the Gemara, Moni Masnisin, who is the author of our Mishnah Lo Tanakama Dmei Achecha Velo Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Yehuda. It is not the Tanakama of the following verses that we're going to quote, nor is it Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Yehuda. And 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 uh, uh, okay, remember, keep in mind, remember our Tana had said. That a gertoshav is shaykh to biyomu titin tzcharu, but not to lo salim pula sotchi itchad boker. Now, myhi, what is this brisa of which we speak? The tanis, we learn a brisa. Me'achecho prad lachem. So this now is the psukim in Sefer Devarim. I'll read you the psukim. Lo sashok sochir oni ve'evion me'achecho, o migercha asher ba'atzicho bisharecho. That's the one pasuk, and immediately the next, the mes, the next pasuk following immediately, biyomo titen scharo v'losav alav Hashemesh ki onihu be'elav unosi as nafsho v'likra alecho el Hashem v'ayeb chochet. So, in those two pasukim in Devarim, it says me achecha prat la achir. It says achecha to the exclusion of achirim to like ovde kochavim. 
Gercha is a Ger Tzedek, okay. Gercha, that's a reference to a uh, proselyte. Bisharecha, the Ocha Nevelis, that's a Ger, uh, a ger Toshav, okay. In the Ella, Schar Adam, okay, these are all people, okay, so I know that we have, that we have to pay people. Minayin the Rabbos Behem of Akalim, how do we know that also you have to pay for uh, animals and vessels? Tamlomar, Be'artzicha, it says in your land. Kol She Be'artzicha, anything in your land. Including animals and vessels. Bechulam ovrim bechol ashemis alalu, and all of them, Adam, Behema, Kalim, Gerim, Gertoshav, everybody, is shaykh to kol ashemis. All of the five lavin and asay that we mentioned earlier, including lo salin, including biyomotitin tzcharo, they apply to all of the cases. Mikan Amuf me they said Echod Schar Odom Vechod Schar Bim Vechod Schar Kalim Sai Schar Odom Sai Schar Bimo Sai Schar Kalim Yeshbo Mishum Biomutit and Schar Vyeshbo and Mishum Batolin Pulas Sochir. So according to Tanakama, by all cases, including Gertoshav, is Shaykh too. Not just about uh, 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 biomotit and scharu, but oichit lo solim pula socher itchad boker. Now remember, our Mishnah has said it's only by biomotit and scharu, not by lo solim pula socher itchad boker. Now remember this pasuk of bisharech of which we learn out kertoshav is davka by biomotit and scharu. It isn't by lo solim pula socher itchad boker, but the Tanakam over here says that. Uh, Gertoshev nonetheless applies uh, is shaykh to both psukim. Now, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yudom, I says, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yudom, Gertoshev, that when it comes to Gertoshev, yesh bo mishum yomu titen tzcharo, so it's shaykh to biyomu titen tzcharo, where it's written, right, right, it says, right, bisharecha, uh, which we says is Gertoshev, and it says immediately after, biyomu titen tzcharo. Where am I? Ve'ein bo mishum, Lo Salin, but is not Shaykh to Lo Salin because Gertoshev is not written by Lo Salin. Okay, so that's like our Mishnah. Okay, Gertoshev is by Biomutit and Scharo, but not by Lo Salin. Behema Vikalim, when it comes to animals and vessels, Ein Boim El Mishum Baltashok. Interesting. That by Behema Vikalim, they're not even Shaykh to Biomutit and Scharo. Remember, in, 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 in Sefer Devarim, there's two psukim. Pasuk number one, Lo sashok scharoni ve'evyon me'achecho migercho asher ba'atzcho b'sharecho. And Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Yudah says that this pasuk of Lo sashok is shayach to behem of v'kelem. But when it says b'yom u'titin scharo, that is not shayach to behem of v'kelem. Okay? So again, so Lo sashok so behem of v'kelem e'mbo em elu mishum Baltashok Bilvad, money. So who's the author of our Mishnah? Back to our original question. Who's the author of our Mishnah? We can't say it's the Tanakhama because the Tanakhama says that by a uh, Gertoshav, he's Shaykh not just to Biomatit and Tzchar, but also to the Solon Pulas Sochir Tchad Boka. But our Mishnah had said that he's not Shaykh to the Solon Pulas Sochir Tchad Boka. And it can't be the Rosh Yehuda because our Mishnah had said that um, uh, Lo Solon and Biomotit and Tzcharo are Shaykh to Behema, Kalim, Odom, whereas Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Yudha says that uh, uh, Behema and Kalim are, uh, are not even Shaykh to Biomotit and Tzcharo, let alone Lo Solon Pula Sochir. So, so what's Pshat? E Tanakama, it can't, uh, our Mishnah can't be like the Tanakama because the May, uh, E Tanakama, the May Achecha, if the Tanakama of this Brysa, uh, Kasha Gertoshev, the issue is the Gertoshev, as I just said. Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Yudah, Kasha Behem of Kalim. Then we have the issue of Behem of Kalim, as I just said. Oh, my Rabbi says, Rabbi, I Tane, Tane, Devei, Rabbi Shmuel, who? Says Rabbi, that the Tane of our Mishnah is the Tano, Devei, Rabbi Shmuel. The Tane, Devei, Rabbi Shmuel. Echod, Schar Odom, Vechod, Schar Behemo, Vechod, Schar Kalim. Whether it comes to Schar Odom, Schar Behemo, Schar Kalim, Yeshba Mishum, Biomotitin Scharu, Umishum Lo Salin. 
Okay, so it's shaykh too. Both psukim, yom tidin tzchor and lo solim pul asochi yitchad boker. Okay, just like our Mishnah, right? That it applies to behema, kalim, adam. Gertoshav, however, yesh ba mishum yom tidin tzchoro is shaykh too. Yom tidin tzchoro, but the aim ba mishum baltolin is not shaykh too. Lo solim pul asochi yitchad boker. Period. So, so that's taka. The author of our Mishnah. So now let's try to figure out everybody's opinions over here. My time the Tanakama de Meachecho. How call what's shot with the Tanakama from the Brisa that Mamish applies everything to everything? Odom Behem, Kalim, Gertoshov, Baltolin, Biomutitin Scho, everything applies to everything. Gomer Sochir Sochir. Gzeir Shova Sochir Sochir. It says Los Solom Pulas Sochir. And it says Los Shasok Los Sashok Sochir on Ivevion. So, Gzeir Shavu, between Tivarim and Vayikra. And therefore, everything applies to everything. Rabbi Yosef Bibuda, and Rabbi Yosef Bibuda, lo gomar sachir sachir. And Rabbi Yosef Bibuda doesn't learn of the Gzeir Shavu. And therefore, he says that we don't apply one to the other. So, okay, Beseda, so for example, Ger Toshav is only by Biomotit and Tzcharu. Not by the Solon Pula Sachir, but but ask the Gemara. Nihidel or Gomer Sachir Sachir behem of a Kalim should be omitit in Tzchor and Amin Nichai. But now the Gemara asks an interesting question, which is fine. So he doesn't learn out the Gzeir Shavu. So we say, okay, so Ger Toshav only applies to be omitit in Tzchor and not to the Solon. But shouldn't behem of a Kalim also apply? Because behem of a Kalim, I don't think we said this yet, but behem of a Kalim he learns out from Be'ar Tzicha, i.e. in Devarim. So shouldn't that apply also to biyomo tite tzcharo? Why not? Not maybe not lo salim, but at least biyomo tite tzcharo. So Tony, so Tony Rab Chananye, Rab Chananye taught. On my the puzzle says v'lo savo olav hashamesh that it says by biyomo tite tzcharo in that puzzle it says that the sun shall not set ki onihu because he's a poor fellow mishen boin the anius vashirus. And therefore, that pasuk mimele is only talking about um, a scenario that could lead to poverty. To the exclusion of an animal, of a Suzuki power washer. They don't have a concept of poverty. Only people do. So therefore, they're not shayich to biomititin tzcharu, only to um, lo sashok sochi univevion. Ah, okay, so that's, oh, so Gemara is going to ask me a second. Doesn't it say ani there also? Okay, say it. Fine. Okay, fine. V'tanakame hai ki onihu mai ovid lei. What does the Tanakama do with ki onihu? Right, he obviously doesn't use that pasuk to exclude beim um, v'kelim. So ahumi bai de lahakim oni lo asher. Well, that is needed to proceed in oni to an asher. So if it comes time to pay, and you have two employees who need to get paid, but there's only enough for one of them. So the pre- so 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 priority goes to the ani rather than the asher. Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Yehuda, how milo sashok sochir ani ve'evion nafka. Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Yehuda learns that out from lo lo sashok sochir ani ve'evion. Right? The first pasuk also says ani, so that pasuk is, is is to teach to proceed in ani to in asher, and uh, the other pasuk is to exclude behem of um, the Kama, whereas the Tanakama says, no, I need both onis, the oni in the first pasuk, right, uh, right in, uh, by Losasho, Sochir, Oni, Vevion, and the pasuk uh, by Biomo, Titin, Tzcharo as well. The Tanakama, Chad, Lehaktim, where am I? Okay, fine, Givaldik. The Tanakama, and Tanakama says, you need both them, Chad, Lehaktim, Oni, Loashir, okay, one of them is two. Say that an oni gets precedence over an usher. The The other one said that an oni comes before an evyon. An evyon is somebody who is more destitute than a an oni. An, ev, an evyon is absolutely destitute. But the thing is that the thing though about an evyon is that an evyon will not have a problem asking. Okay, an evyon is is so destitute that right, that he that he will that he will beg for for. Um, for, 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 for money and for things, whereas an ani won't. Um, and therefore, if we don't take care of him, he won't be taking care of himself. 
Um, fine. So now, v'chad la'aktim ani la'vim u'tzricha, and we need both psukim. We need to teach that an ani comes before an asher, and that an ani comes before an evyon. The ash mean an evyon, because if we would only say that an ani comes before an evyon, mishum dilo kosif lit mizboi. Be, an, an Oni comes before an Evyon because an Evyon will not be embarrassed to ask for money um, and an Oni will and therefore we have to take care of the Oni because otherwise he won't take care of himself but an Oshir who is also embarrassed to ask maybe I'll say that the Oshir comes before the Oni so we need to say that no the Oni comes before the Oshir and if we only teach the Oshir that an Oni comes before an Oshir because an Oshir, a wealthy person, doesn't need to get paid. So the Oni, of course, comes first. But an Evyon who needs it more than the Oni, aim alo. So I'll say that the Evyon should come before the Oni. Therefore, we need both cases to say that an Oni comes before an Oshir and that an Oni comes before an Evyon. Okay, fine. Give Aldi. Now, Vitana Didon. Now, what's the deal with our Tana? With the Tana the very small. How do we explain our Mishnah? Particularly, what's the deal with the Ger Toshav? How come the Ger Toshav is only Shaykh to Biomotit and Tzcharo, but not Lo Salam Pula Sochir? Betana Dida Manav Shach, what's the deal? I Yalev Sochir Sochir, if we learn out the Gezer Shava, well then it should apply to everything. I feel the Ger Toshav Nami. Well then a Ger Toshav should be Shaykh not just to Biomotit and Tzcharo, but Oichit to Lo Salam Pula Sochir. And if in our Mishnah we aren't learning out the Gzeir Shava, well then how do you know? Behema Vichelim by Losal Pula Sachir. Behema Vichelim in Ale. How do we know Behema Vichelim? So Lo Olam, Lo Yolif. Did I skip earlier? Let me just make sure I didn't skip. I hope not. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, but didn't skip. Anyways, uh, so if you don't learn out uh, 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 then how do you know that applies also to lo salam pula sochir? So lo olam lo yolif sochir sochir. So really, uh, the Tanav our Mishnah, Tanav the Rebbe Shmuel, does not learn out the Gzeir Shava. Okay? The shiny awesome, the Amar Kova lo salam pula sochir itcho. That when it comes to Losal and it says itcha with you, Ad Boker until the morning, Koshu Pulaso itcha. That whatever worked with you, whether it's an Adam, whether it's a Behemoth, whether it's a Suzuki power washer, if it works with you, so then it's Shai to Losal and Pulasochir. So that's how we know to include Behemoth of Kalim. Heyochi, I feel a Ger Toshav Nami. Well, then why not include a Ger Toshav as well? Omakro, Re Acho. It says, right? It says, um, it says, Losashog is Re Acho, the Losigzol. Your fellow, Reachov lo ger toshav, but not a ger toshav. Yochi, I feel the behemoth of Kalim Nami. Well, then why don't we say Reachov and not behemoth of Kalim? A Suzuki power washer is not your friend, it's your enemy. Hoksiv, well, not an enemy, but not a friend either. I feel the behemoth of Kalim Nami, nu so hoksiv, it says itcho. To include Behem of Akalim. So, Mara Isa, the Rabbos, Behem of Akalim, Lotzi Ger Toshav. So, how come we say that Itcha comes to include Behem of Akalim and that Re'acha comes to exclude um, Ger Toshav? Mistava Behem of Akalim, Havale the Rabbos. So, it makes sense that we'd include Behem of Akalim. Makes sense that we'd include Behem of Akalim from Itcha. Shekin Yeshtam Bechla Mamon Re'acha. Because they're included in the money of your friend, right? Meaning, you have to pay your friend. You also have to pay your friend for the work of his cow or for the work of his Suzuki power washer. Uh, so you have to, so you have to pay. Mamun but a Gertoshav is not considered Reacha. So Kilu Behema and Kalim are included in Reacha because you pay your Reacha for for their work. Um, but a a, a Gertoshav is not included in Reacha. Okay, now the, the Tanakam from the Brisa. Hi, Reacho, my Abdile. What does he do with Reacho? Because we said Reacho is to exclude uh, Gertosha, but clearly he doesn't exclude Gertosha from Losolin. So, what does he do with it? So, Umi Boyle, Lich the Tanakam. That's needed for like we learn in the Brisa Reacho, Vlo Amaleki. 
Ooh. And not an Amalekite. Amaleki me achecho nafka, but memela an amaleki is excluded from echecha, right? We said achecha prat la acherim, which we said is ovde kochov. Memela it excludes an amaleki. So chad le mishra oshko v'chad le mishra goes low. Well, one is to allow you to withhold payment from an amaleki, and the other one is to allow you to steal from an amaleki. Allow to do worse than amaleki. Utriche, we need it. The ashminon goes low. If we were talking about stealing from an amaleki, mishum dilo tarach be. Well, because potentially he didn't, he didn't necessarily work hard for it. Maybe he found it. Maybe he inherited it. Let me see something quickly. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Aval uh, oshko, but um, you know something that he worked for it to withhold payment to tarach gabe that he worked for it. Emalo, I'll say maybe that's not allowed. Biashmin and oshko. If we say to withhold payment, mishum dilo also liyade because he he never had it in the first place yet. Ava goes low, but to steal from him, where right? To also the already has it. Aim alone. Maybe that's not allowed. Tzricha say no. Both withholding payment and stealing are allowed when it comes to an amaleki. The Reb Yosi, Reb Yehuda, high, low, solen, pula, socher, itcha, ad boker, my ovidle. So Reb Yosi, Reb Yehuda. Um, so in terms of lo solen, pula, socher, itcha, from which we include beim of a by lo solen. So what does Reb Yosi, Reb Yehuda, do with that? Because he doesn't include. So we buy the lich Rabasi. He needs it like Ravasi. Dom Ravasi says Ravasi. I feel the low socho elu livtzor lo eshkol echor. Even if he was only hired for one cluster, shelanovim over mishum baltolin, you still have the halachis of baltolin. Ve'idach. And according to our Tana, who learns that from the son of socho itcha to include beim v'kelim, so then. Ve'elav who knows says nafsho nafka. He learns it out from a different pasuk from Ve'elav who now knows says nafsho. Davar Moser Moser nafsho all of something that he um, is Moser nefesh for. Um, uh, he deserves to get paid for even if it's just one cluster. Ve'idach um, and Rabbi Yosef Babuda. What does he do with the pasuk of Ve'elav who knows says nafsho? How many Ve'elav lechadetanya did it for the following? Brisa to teach that if you don't, when you don't pay someone, it's like you kill him. Right? Ve'elav who knows he has nafsho that he lifts his soul to you. So mipnei ola zeba kevesh v'nisno ba'ilon. How come this person risked his life to go up on a, like a tall ramp or to hang from a tree to get down fruit? So Moser es asma lemisa. He put himself in a, a potentially, uh, uh, you know, put his life on the line to go up to high places, you know, to do things. Solo al scharo is it not for it to receive his uh, wage? Okay. Tavarach alternatively ve'elav who knows says nafsho kol akovish chay sochir that somebody who 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 withholds payment to a worker kilu notel nafsho mimenu it's like you're killing it's like you're killing him. So that's what he learns out from ve'elav who knows says nafsho. Rav Huna Rav Chizda machogus Rav Huna Rav Chizda about who exactly is getting killed. Chadam or nafsho shel gazlon. One of them says that when you withhold payment, you're killing the right, 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 the right, the right, the Balabais himself by withholding payment is killing himself. He's going to get killed for it. The Charam and Nafsha Shanigzal. The other opinion is that it's the soul of the one who's getting robbed. Man the Amar The one who says it's the it's the it's the employer who's you know who's getting going to get killed. The Chsiv Al Tigzal Dal Kidalu. Don't steal from a um 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 uh, um uh, 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 I don't know, beleaguered person, if he's beleaguered, and don't uh, downtrodden a, a, a poor person in the gate. That Hashem will fight their fight for them and they will steal the soul from those who steal from them. Um, I.e., he's going to get the uh, employer. The one who says that it's the, that it's the, that it's the, that it's the, that it's the one who's getting thefted from. That uh, the one who steals is taking the soul of the the one who's getting stolen from. The one who says that it is the employer. What about the puzzle that says that it's the one, basically the employee? So the hashta. No, it means ba- so by of the hashta. It's talking about the uh, the 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 the, um, um, the 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 current owner, the one who's stealing it now and becomes the owner. So the employer in this case, nafesh, and the one who says that it is the employee. What about it's uh, the one who says that the one who steals is going to get in trouble? Matam matam nefesh mishum nefesh. How come the stealer is going to get in trouble? It's because he took the soul of the person who got stolen from Hever. I have to go to this Shevar uh, and I'm like two hours late. To I hope you enjoyed Dafe Kuf Yudalif of Bab Peace out.